Okay, this evening we're going to experiment with using LFOs for rhythm. Um, let's proceed. We start with a, a knit patch like that, which is an 8 foot sawtooth. It's just the knit patch which you create. Now we have to create two LFOs. So I'm going to start by creating a sawtooth, speed of 32. start phase of zero and a second LFO which I'm going to set to square wave speed of 32 start phase of zero okay both the same I'm going to create some modifiers. First we're going to create modifier 1 and experiment with that. Then we'll get to modifier 2. I'm going to go LFO times LFO 2. Then in the mod matrix, I'm going to say modifier 1. equals 01 pitch. I'm going to start at 38. Now by multiplying those two together I now have a unipolar triangle wave. It's taking the composite of the sawtooth and the square, multiply together. Now let's go create the second modifier. which is modifier 1 and minus 48 go to the mod matrix and change mod to modifier 2 you're going to notice it's not going to be right getting a rhythm going now. All I have to do is change this to 46. But that's not all. Let's add some release on the amplitude envelope. Since I'm not really dealing with the filter, I'm just going to turn that off. Okay, we have our little release there. It's going to write a simple modifier, modulation, sorry. So I go to an open slot. I'm going to say release velocity controls LFO1 speed plus 38 and another slot release velocity controls LFO2 speed plus 38 I have to track both of them together you know, I forgot something. No, I didn't. Start phase is zero. That's correct. Now let's go to some finished patches to show you. These have a lot more to them. Start with this pad called Time Travel, which is C106 on my soon to be completed C bank. C106 
07 uh, Euro Trance. Gives you an idea why you can do modifiers. Let's put it on YouTube.